Hey, Dave and Jacqueline here. You clicked on our video, thanks. Nice work. Now that probably means you're looking to make the switch to an electric car this year. Double nice work. So, where do you begin? With our fast charging infrastructure continuing to expand and more and more electric vehicle models to choose from, it makes it a great time to make the switch. So, we thought we'd present you with our top five tips when it comes to buying an EV. The first thing is knowing what EV models are available in BC. With more and more hitting the market, everything from small commuter cars to SUVs and luxury sedans, it can get a little overwhelming. Lucky for you, we've taken the legwork out of finding an EV. You can see all the electric vehicles available in BC on our website, bchydro.com forward slash EV. It enables you to search by manufacturer, type of car, price, and range. Number two, find out how much range you'll need. Once you know what's available, you'll want to narrow it down to which EV is best for your lifestyle. And this is where calculating how far you drive in an average month can be a helpful place to start. Most EV buyers may feel they need a vehicle with the longest range, but unless your car is your office, I'm looking at you delivery drivers, then you likely drive less than you think. Plus, with our growing EV public charging network, you may be able to recharge at work or while you run your errands. If you're able to add a charger at your home, you can even recharge every night. So you might not need as much range as you think. All in all, how much range you need depends on how far you drive, what the climate's like where you live, and your access to home or public charging. Number three, crunch the numbers. This is a big one. How much is it all gonna cost? When you add it all up, it's best to explore the costs over the long term. Yeah, with less maintenance needed for an EV and charging being at a fraction of the cost of gas, don't forget to subtract your monthly maintenance and fuel costs. That gives you a good idea of how much you can save with an EV over time. Hmm. Plus, there are incentives out there to help you with the cost. The EV you're eyeing may qualify for government rebates. And also, there's rebates on eligible level two home chargers. Combined, this can bring down the purchase price significantly. Number four, just like my grade nine gym teacher used to say, be flexible. Now EVs are in huge demand right now, so it's possible you could be on a waiting list for the vehicle you're after. It might be some time before you see that new car gleaming in your driveway. And if you don't want to wait, you could consider buying a pre-owned EV. Number five, apply for a HOV lane decal. When your new shiny car does arrive, make sure you've got your OK Deco application ready to submit. So you can be cruising the HOV lanes. Sorry Dave, looks like I don't really need you anymore. <sighs> Alone again. Well, with all of that in mind, I hope to see you out on the road soon in your EV, powered by BC's clean electricity. I guess I'm walking home.